This is Kendall here, and this is for all of those people that let one failure stop them from pursuing their dreams. I have one question to ask you. Is failure good or bad? Now, throughout our whole life, we were taught that failure was bad. You know, for an example, getting a wrong answer in class, trying something new and it not working out, being a big dreamer. They all can sometimes result in ridicule and negative consequences, which usually results in a famous four-letter word that has many aliases. That word is called fear. And once fear is added to any equation, failure is usually the end result. Now, I'm going to let you in a little, on a little secret about that word fear. It's not real. It's all learned behavior. It's like a little virus that's been implanted in your subconscious that usually appears when, we, when you want to try something new or do something out of the norm. Now I want to tell you a quick story about a man who was very persistent, very patient, who kept pushing forward and eventually he persevered. Now we all know who this man is, but we probably don't know his story. Now I'm going to tell you who he is at the end, but in the meantime, here's a quick, a quick snapshot of his story. Now, this man was born into poverty, and in 1816, his family was forced out of their home, and he had to work to support them. In 1818, his mother died. In 1831, he tried to start a business. He failed. In, 18, in 1832, he ran for state legislature. He lost. He also lost his job. He wanted to go to law school, but he couldn't get in. In 1833, he borrowed some money from a friend to begin a business. And at the end of the year, he was bankrupt. He spent the next 17 years trying to pay off that debt. In 1835, he was engaged to be married. His fiancée died, and it left him brokenhearted. In 1836, he had a total nervous breakdown. He was bedridden for the next six months. Now, this guy is obviously having a serious losing streak. But he's definitely not letting that stop him from continuing his journey. Now in 1838 he sought to become the speaker of the state legislature where he was defeated. In 1840 he sought to become the elector where he was also defeated. In 1843 he ran for Congress where he lost. In 1848 he ran for re-election to Congress where he lost again. Now I'm sure most of us would have given up 15 failures ago and just chalked it up as a loss Stop dreaming and conform to whatever is considered the norm. Now, in 1849, he sought the job of land officer in his home state, where he was rejected. In 1854, he ran for Senate of the United States, where he lost. In, 18, in 1856, he sought the vice presidential nomination at his party's national convention, where he got less than 100 votes. In 1858, he ran for U.S. Senate again, and again he lost. But in 1860, he was elected President of the United States, and his name was Abraham Lincoln. Now, all because he didn't let fear of failure stop him from his journey, and because of that, history was made. So take note from his story that failure is not an option. Dream big, be patient, be persistent, push forward, and if you must, fail forward, and your dreams or goals will eventually come true. The, re the reality is that failure is a necessary component to success. Nothing of any substance is done on a single try. Every invention, every cure, every journey, everything is based on multiple attempts, or you can say multiple failures. It's necessary to have failures in order to have something to compare your successes to. So back to the original question. Is failure good or bad? Now I would appreciate some feedback, so please write your comments and your opinions below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the appropriate links below. This is Kendall, and I'm signing out.